Welcome back to the garage here at DIYGolfCart.com. Today we're going to be installing this Mods Flip 4 rear seat on a 2018 Club Car President. So let's get started. These are the tools we'll be using on this installation. Okay, the first thing we'll do is go and remove these two 10 millimeter bolts that's holding on the front seat back. Okay, now let's remove the seat back. Okay, next we're gonna remove this bolt and this one with a T40 and a half inch wrench. Okay, now with a standard broom handle, We'll put it here towards the middle of the seat, just behind it, and lift the top up. This way it takes all the pressure off of this back end. Okay, next I'm going to remove this 5 16 bolt and this 5 16 bolt. And by the way, I did remove the netting just so you can see what I'm doing. Now let's remove this 10 millimeter bolt and this one. Now let's go to the front side and take out this 10 millimeter bolt and this one. Then we can take this whole assembly off. Okay, now we're going to remove this whole back section simply by tilting back and lifting up. Next, we're going to remove these inner braces by removing this 10 millimeter bolt and this one. Okay, next, we need to drill this hole out just to make sure that this bolt will go through evenly. I have a 3 8 drill bit. So we'll get a washer, put it through, another washer, and a nut on the underside. And then we'll do the same thing to the other side. Okay, now we're gonna sit the rear seat frame onto the back of the golf car. And we're gonna line up the supports to the holes underneath here and bolt them together. Okay, now we're gonna put these supports right underneath this seat frame. Then we'll go in the outer slot on each side. So let's get that bolted in. Now this support can go on the back side of this railing or the front. I just went ahead and put it on the back side. Now it's time for the footrest. What we'll do is we'll utilize these outer two oblong holes. We have braces that we'll actually mount to those. It just slides right over it. We'll take our longer bolt with a washer. And slide right down through it. And put a washer and nut on the back side. Now we'll repeat this step on the other side. Once again, we'll tighten these up, but not all the way, not yet. Now to attach the foot rest to the supports. We'll line them up Now we'll put the bolt and nut on that side. Okay, first thing we're going to do is put the seat back support up. And then we're going to get the armrest. Take one of these long bolts, put it through. 
to slide it through the frame and the seat back support. But do not push the bolt all the way through. It's very tight on the back side. Just enough room to get a washer and a nut. Now we'll do the top one. So this time we have a spacer to put in between the two. Now to line everything up, putting on the footrest support bracket, make sure you choose the one that goes to the back side of the armrest and that will curve and go underneath the footrest. You put your bolt through. And your washer and your nut. And then we'll do the same thing to the other side. Now to get the armrest to the seat base. We'll repeat this step on the other side. Okay, now we'll put the rear struts in. It's a shorter bolt down on the bottom. The longer bolt at the top. Now let's go on the other side and do the very same thing. And to remember to have the curve pointing towards the rear of the car. Okay, now we have a hole back here. This is where we put our number three Phillips head bolt in. We have a little concave washer that goes on it. Go down in here. Take a screwdriver to make sure it gets seated good. Now we can finish that off with our impact. Once we get the other bolt in, now we're going to attach the sun top to the rear struts. And then we'll do the same thing to the other side. Now that we've got this attached, we can start now tightening all of our nuts and bolts over the entire frame. Okay, now while installing the seat back bracket, first thing you want to make sure is that the J hook is to the outside of the car. Next thing you'll look at, the holes are actually offset, so that's how they will actually be mounted. You will take your bolt, then you will add the lock washer the flat washer and then mount it down. Now that we got these installed, just remember when you tighten these bolts down, these are seat back support bolts. Do not over tighten them. Next we'll take the seat back, put it across here and bolt it down. Now let's do the same thing on the other side. Now let's get these tightened down. Okay, now we will install our front seat back. We'll put it on these hooks, lift it up, and using the original hardware, and on the inside hole, we'll just screw it right back together. Then I'll get my 10 millimeter wrench and tighten it up. Okay, next we'll put the seat base on. We're installing it Make sure we're using the number three flip set screws along with our little washers. It will go through the seat frame into the base. Now in doing this, start it going down with a screwdriver. Don't use a screw gun. Well, that is how we install a Mods Flip 4 rear seat. And I must admit, this is probably the most sturdy rear seat I've ever installed. It actually bolts directly to the frame. As long as you keep everything loose to the very end and then tighten it, it's like part of the car.
Don't forget to like and subscribe. And for all your golf cart parts and accessories, check out DIYGolfCart.com and make sure to check out our other videos.